In the interrogation room, police must confront evil. You don't want to hear the crimes that got me in jail in my second life. I doubt. I want to hear the crimes that you committed yesterday. Anything to say for yourself? Sifting through unspeakable crimes and dark secrets. So I'm here this morning to, uh, to confess to insider trading with the Graziano Fund. The truth can only be revealed when evil talks. Welcome back to episode 19 of the CHS Pulse. I'm Colin Decker alongside my co-hosts, Sydney Dropkin, Mariana Zingoni, and Molly McKenzie. We have a very special episode in store for you guys today. We have four hosts instead of two because this is our last episode before the four of us leave and go on our senior internships. Wow, way to kill the mood. Wow, why do you sound so upset? I won't be going on internships with CHS Jess will be stuck with me the rest of the year, and that's all that really matters. Anyways, hey, Mariana, do you have any hidden talents? I mean, I can do a pretty mean pistol squat, but that's about it. Do you? No, but Tess and Gabe did go around the school asking students if they also had hidden talents. It turned out pretty cool. I'm Gabe, and my hidden talent is balancing this mic on my foot. Ah. All right, we're back with Rohan, Kalmanita, Chase Ulbrick. And what's your hidden talent? I can make my knuckles crack a lot. That's so disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> so check it out, right? Oh, 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 yeah, you ain't never seen that before. Um, yeah, I can do the uh, alligator with my hands. I will notice, like, it's actually like a shadow, though. And we're back with Jackson Corey. And what's your hidden talent? I can hit a mean, stanky leg just to see it. <laughs> so we're here today with Sam Kaplan and, and Kay Stevenson. And what are your hidden talents? I uh, rap, I freestyle. And I, I have, I'm so good at beatboxing. Let's see it, boys. My name's S. Cap. I'm here to say I rap real good with my boy K. My hater right there, he's lime. He doesn't think that I can rhyme. Eating at lunch feels real good. You know me coming out the hood, running out of time. You know S. Cap, I know how to rhyme. Yes, sir. Put him on next. This game, we're back with TJ. And do you have any hidden talents? No. My name is Winston Roos, and I can do a backflip. My name is Ryan Graziano, and I can do a handstand. And we're back with Kay. And what's your other hidden talent? Uh, I can clap with one hand, basically both of them too. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> so we're back with... Ella. And what's your hidden talent? I can minwalk. I see it. <laughs> Alright, that's good. Those are really cool. Colin, do you have any hidden talents? Excuse me, Sydney. I have a plethora of hidden talents. Back to our regularly scheduled programming. Last Monday, the kids in short films got to show off the films they created at the short film showcase. Mariana, you had your show, right? Yeah, I did. It was so cool to see what everyone was able to make and get to watch them on the big screen. So, I really liked being on set because it mimicked like a real production. Um, like what work we would do in like the field. Um, so yeah, it was just cool to see the um, project from start to finish. Cause like on, like working on video production of the Pulse, you have other people to work with, but this was like really like you from like uh, start to finish. So it was cool to see the project through. I filmed at home, so I had to like take elements from my life. You have to balance like your work and life. And so that was a little bit yucky at first, but then, you know, you just get in the zone and you do your work and, 
all good. So yeah, so I filmed off site, so that was a little bit different. I didn't really have that experience, but I was working with my friends, so you kind of have to remember that even though they're your friends, that you really need to have that like, professional level. You know, you're instructing them what to do, and I only had four hours to film in because I was using a uh, local business to shoot in and they didn't really want me there for eight hours a night so it's just knowing that okay i have to get everything done and really stay on track so from a director standpoint i was really nervous but uh the atmosphere was definitely really great by the end like all the cast and crew were definitely um good friends from spending six plus hours together so it was by the end it was a great experience my experience on set was actually like pretty easy i would say because i was with all of my friends, I used them as actors, and I also shot it in my house. So, like, I was very familiar with everyone and, like, the setting that I was in, so it really wasn't bad. I was definitely really proud of how Hats Off turned out, considering that I had only taken video production last year, and I was super nervous going into it that everyone had TV production under their belts. I was a little nervous about that, but um, it definitely turned out exactly how I intended. Definitely ex exceeded all expectations. The final product was not what I intended, but also I am kind of glad that it ended up the way that it did because I think like, I don't know, simpler stories are easier for people to relate to and it wasn't so serious. Like it was supposed to be like funny and satirical and I don't know, I thought a lot of the other ones were like very heavy and so Mr. Clark told me that it was nice to have one that wasn't so like heavy, but yeah, I don't know. Not completely, but I'm very happy with how it turned out. So I had an idea to start with, and then um, I just realized that it wasn't realistic and I was probably in over my head, so I had to change it. So I cut my cast from four to two people, and I actually love how it turned out. Everyone who came to the showcase said that when I told them about it, when they watched it, it was exactly what I had like envisioned, and I'm really happy with the products, even if it wasn't like what I originally thought it was going to be. What was the most rewarding part? Watching it on stage. I mean, yeah. on, on the projector the big the screen. That was like a, I, I mean, I, I was like, oh my goodness. But that at the same time, I was like, oh, I did that. So. Yeah, it was really great just to have everyone come in and like support you and like, you know, you get to show your work to everybody. So that was really nice. And they get to like hype you up. I spoke to Mr. Henderson about this, shout out Mr. Henderson, and I was like, I'm not really proud of the work I did, um, but that's because I was just like not proud of myself, that's all. But he told me, you're not going to like get every success, like you have to like take it as a learning experience, it's not your like, you're not filming like a St uh, Steven Spielberg film, so it's your first one, you got to do what you got to do and you're going to learn from it. And I took that to heart and really it motivated me to finish my film the, literally the day of the short film showcase so it was so wise would I do it again I think I would do it again but maybe I would from the get-go try to do something a little bit simpler yeah yeah I would love a second attempt mm -hmm. that's all um, this is my career so I'm actually gonna be a film major in college so this is like this is what I want to be doing, so even though it was difficult, like, being on set and, like, getting the reward of seeing it all play out and seeing, like, my mind come to life, like, it was worth it. Well, I'm gonna have to because I'm a film major at college now, so I will definitely have to do this whole thing again, but I'm glad that I had this experience to help me, um, for next time. 100% do it again, and of course, I would say my class definitely made this experience for me, and I made a lot of good friends. And I will always remember Class 7 short films. That is so cool. Do you know what else is cool? Psh, the boys lacrosse team. No, I'm talking about the girls lacrosse team. We got an inside scoop from varsity players Kaylee Coughlin and Ashley Kiernan. Let's check it out. I'm Kaylee Goblin. I'm a senior midfielder and captain of the girls lacrosse team at Chatham. Um, I mean, last year we had a lot of really, really good players, but this year we also have a lot of really, really good players. And I think we've just been in like the early goings of the season. We've just been kind of adjusting to like new people playing and new people starting and like new people filling new roles. But everyone's been doing a really, really good job so far. 
we're trying to find the right mix of people that play well together and so far a lot of the juniors have stepped up to fill the spots. Um, I think Addison Barrett has stepped up a lot. She Yesterday we played open she started on attack, played most of the game, and she scored two goals and played great. I would say Emma, our goalie, she came up with some huge saves in our really important games and we wouldn't have been able to win without her. Um, I think the biggest challenge is that like our schedule is so strong. There's really no easy games for us to play. Every game is a challenge and every game just faces new challenges for us as a team to work through. Um, definitely working together. I think, we, you know, we have a whole like new starting lineup, so it's hard to find who like meshes well together on offense and defense. So it's definitely been a challenge, but we're getting there. I mean, the toughest opponent I would say is Oak Knoll. Even though we beat them and lost to other teams, I do think they were the best team we played, but we just happened to, that also happened to be our best game that we played yet, but yeah, I think they are the best team. Oh, Oak Knoll. It will be Summit on Tuesday, which is luck. But uh, yeah, definitely Oak Knoll. They're just always a top team, always highly ranked, and they have a good program, so. But we beat them. Expectations, I mean, we, last year we won the section and the county, so I think we'd obviously love to do that again. But we're really just hoping to win as much as we can and do as well do as well as we can and just like see where that takes us towards like the end of the season. Um, same as last year, I hold everyone to a really high standard. So I expect that everyone plays their best and nothing less. <laughs> the best part is definitely the team. The atmosphere and like your teammates are just so like fun and it's just so nice to have. My favorite part about being a part of Chat Lacrosse is the POS parties, especially when we have La Rosa. That's Unfinished business kind of correlates to like last year when we um, lost in the group final. Kind of feel like this year, like we just want to go off of that and like make it that far as we did last year and go even further. So it's kind of just like we have unfinished business and want to go further and just win more. Different people are hype in different situations, but my mind goes to Ella Doria and Michaela Kelly. They're pretty hype. Um, he reports for Tap into Chatham. He's really nice. He comes to all our games, not all of our games. He comes to most of our games and just like films and reports. Well, I'm kind we're kind of beeping right now. <laughs> um, he didn't come to our senior day and instead went to the boys away game. But they did win, but like come on, come on in. It's our senior day. <laughs> and he missed the old no game. It's okay. Um. Team's yeah, Gabby did a great job highlighting such a skilled team. Agreed. We're talking about great editing. We should be looking at the Greater Graz Game Show. You mean a Graz versus Graz competition? How was that? It was, uh, interesting. Let's check out to see who won the greatest Graz title. What? <laughs> 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 funny. Kids are idiots. Trivia. And Question one. Which king of England has six wives? <laughs> king George. <laughs> I, I don't know. Wait, let me go. Yes, but, okay, now yeah, you can see him. We're trying. Uh, oh, move on. King George the third. No. Henry the eighth. All right, well, that's my second guess. Yeah. So who is this character? Hmm. Uh, I'm gonna, I know it's from Twilight. It's the main boy character from Twilight. I think I'm gonna... Cedric Diggory. No! Batman! Close. Batman! Close. Batman! Close! Close! Batman! Close! I mean, he was the closest... I saw... Where was he closer? What is the second largest country in the world? I'm gonna say, um... I'm gonna go with... Russia. Eh. Uh, no. China. Eh. Well, Canada. 
What is the only ever football team that has gone undefeated the entire season? The 1972 Dolphins. Yeah. Yeah. I feel like we're gonna. I'm gonna give bonus points for 72. Is that with the uh, brain cells? Two points, two to zero. What does WW dot stand for? The World Wide Web. Yes. What? Superpowers. <laughs> what is the rarest M M&M color? I'm gonna go with purple. Blue. Incorrect. Incorrect. Brown. Brown. Number seven. What is the only edible food that never goes bad? Pass. Applesauce. Kind of, kind of close. Really? I mean... Apple sauce didn't go bad? Oh, peanut butter! No, you already had a family cheese. Well, oh, no, we can't cream cheese. We, they already lost. Honey. All right. Honey. Whatever. Yeah. Who are the four golden girls? Ah, <sighs> fudge. I don't know. I don't know. Nothing? Nah. Teresa. No. Dorothy, Rose, Blanche, and Sophia. I don't know. I ain't gotten that either. Number nine. What is the hottest planet of the solar system? Saturn. Incorrect. Only seven more, so. Yeah. Oh, sun! That's not a planet! <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> oh my god, it's Venus. Number 10. What is the Pythagorean theorem? A squared plus B squared equals C squared. Yes! Woo. Bonus points for what shape it describes. Right triangle. Yes! Two to three. What is the powerhouse of the cell? Mitochondria. How many teeth does an adult human have? I'm gonna take a guess. Squishy I'm not first. gonna take a guess. I don't even know. 120? What? No. I'm gonna guess 64. That's bones. What? Close! Not really. Kind of close. <laughs> close if you're looking at 20. number patterns. Oh, is it like. Close. Probably like 10. 32. <laughs> oh. Like 64. 64, that's like yeah. right half, right? Yeah. Alright, whatever. What year was our Chatham High School built? 1972. Not far off. 64. 1962. How many episodes in total does Prison Break have? Oh, well, I'm gonna guess. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna get like 103. 102. Hold on, hold on. Well, you're wrong, but you can steal. Shh. No. This is like 10. Shh. I'm gonna say 90. One. Ryan, it's 90. You were no saying, way! <laughs> when you said I'm gonna say 90. That sucks. Really, really. What year were Oreos invented? I don't 62. Oh, he didn't pick up the thing. I'm gonna yeah, guess 1975. Where were they? 1912. No way. Oreos? Yeah. <laughs> Who was the boys' spring track head coach at CHS? <laughs> is it is Barry? It? Yes. Yeah. Alright. Were, <laughs> were you a speed demon back in high school? Name three actors who played Batman. There's a whole list of options here. So, Christian yeah. Bale, Ben Affleck, uh, and Cedric Diggory. <laughs> That's all. Christian I know. Bale, Ben Affleck, and that man, the guy who just played. Wait, wait. What's his name? And uh. From Twilight. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Nothing. No. No. <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna cut that out. Right. <laughs> what time is Mr. Clark's alarm set for each day? I don't know. Five. Let me guess. Cause you live in Edison. 5.30. Closer. Yeah. I'll give it to him. Probably five 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 what is it? 5.20. Yeah. I'll take it. Good Which news. has sold more, the PS5 or Xbox Series X? PS5. <laughs> PS5, for sure. Yeah, I don't get the points. Okay, but, five to four. Yeah. When was the first photograph taken? Oh, was it with Thomas Edison? No, he did the light bulb. 1860. 1862. Alright, who knows? Yeah. 1826. How many years was Mr. Henderson a video production and TV teacher at CHS? I'm gonna take a gander. I'm gonna say... I'm gonna say 14. No. Probably less, I'm right? gonna say 7. I was gonna guess 7. I'm 99% sure it's 8. Because if you do the math... Oh, you're not sure? So why the heck well, is it a listen, problem? Listen, listen. Is that a wow. Sita! Take a Sita! <laughs> <laughs> you got... It's Final Jeopardy. You, hey, what's the score? Ryan has six points. Jake has four points. Yeah. Just okay, we'll lay it on me. Ask the question. Are you ready? Yeah. Like the famous singer, what is a male duck called? No, you have to. Is a male right duck now. called? 
You guys write it down. Like the famous singer. Wait, but if you get the... Ryan, how much did you bet? What Five. Was your wager? Five. Five. And what was your answer? Elvis. Interesting. And Jake, what did you guess? Uh, I... Oh, what was your wager? I bet three points. Okay. And my answer was duckling. <gasps> what? <laughs> <laughs> what on earth? The answer was Drake. Oh. But. Drake. Well, if you said rapper. He's uh, more of a singer than a rapper at this point. Need shoes? You might want to ask this Greek god of victory. Nike. Okay. Yeah. Ryan, what was your bet? Nike. Ditus. Nike. What was, was your, no, what was what your was bet? bet? Five. Okay. And, and your, what was your guess? Nike. Okay, and what's your bet? Three. Then what's your guess? Nike. We have a winner. Brian, with 11 points. Jake caught up with seven points. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Close your eyes, both of you. No peeking. No peeking. Thank God. Ah, Made yeah. in 1912. Made in 1912. Yeah. That. that was pretty great. I guess both the twins have different skill sets. Yeah, that was solid. I've been looking kind of small recently, if I'm being honest. I tried to get into some eggs, but they're all sold out. Yeah, yeah we, we can, can tell. tell. My parents say the eggs at the supermarket are all gone. Wait, I think Patrick knows something about that. Today we're looking at an ongoing investigation spearheaded by a member of our community who decided to take justice into his own hands. Let's take a look. So it all started about three years ago. I would bring two dozen eggs into school every week and uh, I would nuke them in the microwave 52 minutes between each one of my classes, maybe two or three times a day. You know, I credit that strategy to every success I've had in the last three years, which, you know, pretty hard to come by because I get food poisoning almost every day. So, um, and then, you know, a few weeks ago, some person, some monster, decided that they would start stealing my eggs. Come over, you know. <laughs> I don't know anything that you're talking about right now, sir. Sir, this is about my eggs. The eggs that you stole. You have something to say for yourself before we lock you up for years, buddy? I can't even take you seriously right now. You're accusing me of stealing eggs. I don't know anybody in the right mind that would steal eggs. Look at that. Look, look at that egg yolk. That's a good looking yolk. Like you think that's a good looking yolk? Yep. Good, good enough to steal? No. Tell me, if, if I leave this yeah. right here, are you going to take it? Not at all. I'll just look at it. So let's steal eggs. Tell me what you know. What are you talking about? I have no clue of what you're talking about. We're talking about these eggs. Why do you why are you holding eggs? Like I don't know. Because you stole eggs. eggs! You stole my eggs! I know it was you. You have the motivation, I heard you like eggs. You have the means. You could pick up my eggs and transport them somewhere and then eat them. I know it was you, man. Just, just admit it. You got the wrong guy, bro. We're not gonna let you go. We, we you. What are you doing here? Uh, I, I'm here to report. A report. I'm yeah. running away. I'm out. You can't. You can't do that. Can
was definitely not like anything I've ever seen before. That was an intense mystery. I was on the edge of my seat. Yeah, truly an honor to be part of such an eye-opening piece of media. Well, that's all we have for you guys. Thanks for tuning in our final time hosting. This has been Colin. Sydney. Mariana. And Molly. Signing off. Signing off.